So there's the 1930 cottage. And starting over here is kind of a long view of the three quarters acre garden. Mostly flowers, vines, perennials, trees, shrubs, all kinds of things. But you can see there I have two nice big veggie beds, raised beds. We live on a creek called Carter Creek, which is down there <clears throat> on the other side of that retaining wall. We get some beautiful borrowed views from extra trees, big beautiful cedar trees and fir trees. But what I want to do is maybe every few days, once a week, something like that, I'd like to show you what's blooming in the garden. I don't know how long I can keep this up. I've had some some health challenges this year that I haven't had before. So I thought I would just do this starting in early April, which is what it is now. Just kind of show you what's blooming and what we'll expect. Now, here is a beautiful white tree peony. And you know that tree peonies have big woody trunks, right? And they actually also get going on their blooms much earlier than the herbaceous peonies do. I only have two or three tree peonies. That one I showed you is a big gorgeous white one that I'll show you again when those buds come out. And this is a beautiful purple one that I moved from the Shady Hill just this past fall because it wasn't getting enough sun and it didn't bloom. The leaves came out fine, but it just didn't bloom. Look at some of those lilies starting to come up. You can see some over there too. So that's what the, the tree peonies look like right now. Here's what the herbaceous peonies look like right now. And herbaceous means that they grow from the roots. So a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, you wouldn't have seen anything where these peonies are starting to come up right now. So let's see what else is starting to get going. You can see climbing roses, shrub roses along the rock wall there that are kind of getting going. I haven't seen any buds on those few. Many of the clematis are really getting going. That's a later blooming one called taiga. But look at the pretty buds on this one. It'll be a few more weeks. But there are some things that just always look good, like that beautiful formium there. The hot yellow in the blue pot. It's kind of cool, isn't it? These are hostas that are just starting to come up in their pots, too. And here's a beautiful candelabra primula. I love that one with pretty white flowers up there. These hot yellow heucheras are looking beautiful. You can see that I like to do, I bend rebar and then my husband paints it for me. And then I, pro I provide it as um, trellises for my clematis. Here's some more of the lovely things that are happening right now. This is a Lonicera. Can you believe that? Lonicera is, of course, as most of you know, um, can be a vine or it can be this wonderful shrub that's all variegated and golden. And that's really about all that is blooming in the garden right now. Oh, I forgot one thing. That pretty Jack Frost Brunera is nice there. But up here is one of the few early clematis that I have. These pretty little pink things going on here. Pinky purple over here. 
Well, that's about all for today. Thanks for listening. Check in in a few more days. Bye.